Gemini. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to start off your reading with an oracle message and then we will get into the tarot. Spirit, what are the messages for Gemini? Okay. So we have religion and spirituality and we have gracefully aging. Okay. With these cards, I'm kind of feeling that something is coming along beautifully. So could be something in a business, something in a relationship, something like that. I do feel with this religion and spirituality card, a lot of you are focusing on your spiritual health. Um, and I do feel like you could be ascending in some sort of way. They keep telling me the word ascending. So raising your vibration, um, things like that. Very, fo fo very much focused on like your spiritual health and everything. Um, also, do y'all feel these fucking retrogrades? I feel them like crazy. I can barely form a sentence or talk. I am so confused lately. Also, Gemini, I do have a Gemini-only channel called Twins Tarot. The link to that will be down in the description box. So, a love message for you is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. So, think of a question, Gemini. These are just simple angel answer cards. And um, they'll just give simple yes and no, time frames, whatever answers. So, Spirit, what is the answer to Gemini's question? Listen to your intuition. Pull a few more. This one wants to come out. Remain positive. within the next few months. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. There's different reading options for you to choose from. Also, go check out the merch at swordstarotmerch.com. A couple of my favorites are the hoodies and the mug. I think everything on there is super, super cute, so go check it out. Also, don't forget about my lashes at jayslashes.com for you girlies. Do go check it out also on Instagram as well. Also, do be sure to go check out my vlog channel over there. Just share a little bit more of my personal life. And now, let's get back into the video. Alright, so we have the Four of Swords in the reverse. Not relaxing about something. Could be worried about something in the reverse also. Also, I'm feeling that um, there could there may be no communication between you and somebody or somebody wants to, um, that you haven't been communicating with wants to communicate with you. We have the Two of Wands energy here and the world at the bottom of the deck. A decision. I feel like you're thinking about this a lot too Ooh. yeah you have new opportunities coming your way nine of swords yeah thinking about something a lot worried about something even or worried about someone spirit what are the messages for gemini five of cups hmm yeah there's something here you're moving towards or you want to move towards you have opportunities here but i'm feeling with this five of cups being you're upset disappointed about something it could be someone this could be a relationship we're talking about not sure what to do about it there's something new here they keep showing me aces there's something new here that maybe you're contemplating on doing or taking an opportunity the two of cups okay it could be a relationship a connection with somebody maybe you have to walk away from something in order to pursue something else the strength card having the courage to make this decision so what are the messages for gemini hmm okay i feel like somebody may want to make an offer to you for those of you that are single here, the Nine of Pentacles is a singular energy. Someone is afraid of being rejected or this could be vice versa. Maybe you wanting to reach out to someone, but you're not sure how they feel about you or how that would go. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so for a lot of you, you may be newly single. Nine of Pentacles energy. And the thing about the Nine of Pentacles is it's a good energy. Um, and it's very attractive to the outside world. For, so for those of you that have just been kind of doing your own thing, focusing on yourself and your finances, I do feel like you're attracting um, somebody here. 
Why is the Two of Wands energy here? For some of you, it could be a Leo. Yeah, option. Ah! Some of you could be dealing with the Cancer, with the Chariot, the Two of Cups. Yeah, you have options here in love. Yeah, I see you guys are really stressing about some sort of connection for some of you. Or this person's really stressing about you. We'll clarify those too, maybe to get a little bit more. Some of you could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I got all the signs here. Um, water sign as well, the King of Cups. Why is the Nine of Swords with the Two of Cups here for Gemini? You both are single. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. The Four of Cups, again, somebody is worried that they are going to be rejected. Maybe this person, yeah, these two kings keep coming out. Taurus, Scorpio energy here. Water sign, earth sign. Hmm. Why is the five of cups energy here? Okay, things in the past have been difficult. I feel like somebody's having a difficult time moving on from the past, whether it's you or this person. Give me more on the ten of wands. Or something's making it difficult for you two to come forward. Okay. Could be a person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Fool, Magician, Gemini, Aries Energy. Leo here as well. Hmm. Somebody's scared to take this leap of faith. Somebody is trying to make it happen, though. The Magician guy, this could be you. Trying to manifest this, making it happen. But for some reason, with this Ten of Wands, there is a blockage. Why is the Six of Swords energy here? With the Six of Swords, someone needs to move on from something. Yeah, justice. Somebody needs to see shit for what it is and move on in order for this to truly manifest. Why is the Three of Wands energy here? So, no, you have somebody interested in here. I do feel like as far as finance, we do have a pentacle here. The Ace of Pentacles. There is some sort of opportunity coming in that has to do with money. Um, it could be oh, what the fuck? recovering financially. You are manifesting money here um, with the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, I see Ace of Pentacles energy here. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you could be saving money right now or that could be the advice. Why is the Two of Cups here? The Magician, the Ten of Pentacles, same cards. The Magician, the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Okay. Yeah. Somebody really wants to have something stable with you. Virgo energy, Leo energy, also Gemini. Maybe they haven't told you with the Moon card. Maybe they feel like it would cause some sort of chaos or drama. The Tower. Why is the strength card energy? Somebody is mustering up the courage to say something to you. Could be this earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the King of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles energy here? The High Priestess. I feel like, for those of you that are kind of still trying to decide what to do with this, listen to your intuition. Listen to what you truly want. I almost want to say listen to your heart in this situation because the Two of Cups, this is hard to ignore. Like if there is a Two of Cups connect, connection between you and somebody else, it is very hard to ignore it. It is hard to stop thinking about it. So clarifying the Four of Cups, we have the Death card. I feel like Spirit's saying if this is you worried about being rejected, just don't think like that. Change the way you think here with the death card energy because this person will not reject you. Like I said, the two of cups, this is mutual energy. Spirit, what is the overall advice for Gemini? The six of coins. Okay, so put in the effort here for the six of coins. The two of swords of the reverse. Make a decision. Don't be uncertain either. Don't be uncertain about... Um, you know, how is this going to go? Are they going to reject me? Don't worry about that. If this is you worrying about that, don't worry about it. 
The Nine of Cups? Yeah, go for what you want. Do what you wish. Follow your heart. So, I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, be sure to check out Twins Tarot down in the description box, and I'll see you guys in the next video.